the government, uh, as they did in the first meeting, um, was clear on the current uh, economic situation uh, that the country is in. And they were able to share with us uh, and explain to us uh, more in depth uh, their plans to bridge uh, the deficit. And thereafter, and this is the budget deficit, and thereafter, of course, uh, how best we could address um, the, the debt, the, the GDP, uh, the 134% debt to GDP uh, that, that the country, country is currently under now. So um, following that meeting, uh, we requested of the government for them to provide to us, of course, in writing, what exactly is it that they want, you know, so that we can uh, get down to, to the meat uh, or to the essence of the decision. We will convene a council of management meeting tomorrow. Uh, we will then coordinate uh, membership meetings and have heard back from membership. We will be able to provide the government with a detailed and comprehensive response uh, whether that be in the form of a con proposal or an alternate proposal um, or a complete rejection of what they're putting forward or a complete agreement that they're putting forward. I don't know that mandate will come from membership. Public service union or none of the joint unions have put forward any proposal that has to do with salary cuts. Uh, what we have put forward uh, vehemently and very strongly uh, is a uh, need for us to address revenue enhancement and for us to put in place structures and monitoring mechanisms to ensure that the government performs uh, more, uh, more responsibly uh, and where compliance and the share of the tax burden is concerned. Those are the positions that we have put forward forcefully. Um, we are only in receipt of this proposal by the government. 